guys, welcome back. Just a quick video today to hopefully help out a uh, new UK Lock Sports member, nickname 1-2, and hopefully anybody else who has a similar problem. And it's a problem that's experienced by most new pickers and even some uh, people who have been picking locks for years. And it is uh, how to feel for the binder in a lock. It can be very tricky uh, to feel which pin is binding. And so today I'm going to share with you a technique that I like to use uh, when picking a lock that's especially oriented in this uh, this European position uh, with the pins pointing upwards like this. First of all, the lock I'm using, it's a 6-pin era, it doesn't matter which brand it is as long as it doesn't have any security pins in it because uh, for this purpose uh, security pins are actually uh, designed to simulate um, the lock uh, or pins being set, so um, well they aren't actually, so like spool pins will give you a false set. Um, uh, so I'm going to be using a lock with standard pins in it, um, if you like, and I especially recommend this for any new pickers. You can get yourself a cutaway lock. This is made by Locks Away, uh, an English company, and um, they produce very nice cutaways. This is one that I bought from them and it's repinnable via these grub screws. They do supply an Allen wrench for those or an Allen key as we commonly call it in the UK. You can uh, pin this up any way you want. They do supply pins and also spools. Uh, you could also use one of these. Very cheap and readily available. Um, it's just a plastic um, lock so you can see the pins while you're picking them. But for this video, just to ensure that we don't cheat, we're going to be using a sealed lock. So, uh, the hook I'm going to be using is a Euro hook, and I recommend this hook to uh, for this task. And uh, there's another one there. Notice how it's nicely curved, it's not too deep, it's not too shallow. And uh, also I recommend getting a lock that doesn't have crazy up and down bitting. Um, so, for example, Something like this is going to be very tricky to pick, as opposed to, um, let me get a nice flat key for you, maybe, well as opposed to something like that, that's very flat. Alright, so before we put our tension wrench in, I'm just going to put my pick to the back of the lock and pull it out, and I'm going to do that a few times. And I can feel that there's absolutely no uh, binding at all when I pull my pick out of the lock. It pulls right out, nice and freely. I also have to angle my pick around the warding, so make sure you're doing that. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to add some tension. And already I can feel that the pick is snagging up and the pins aren't moving out of the way like they used to. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert my pick right to the back of the lock, and uh, the way I hold my pick, I hold it with uh, my finger here on the shaft of the pick, and I press it right up against the face of the lock, and that just helps me to um, better control uh, the position of my pick in the lock. So try and get some focus here and then I'm going to put my pick right to the back of the lock and slowly pull it out and look watch my my pick shaft so I'll pull it out slowly and as you can see right here my pick shaft is starting to lift up and then drop down I'll do that a few times just to show you how it moves it doesn't do that with any of the other pins apart from this one right here um, what that is, that's basically, um, while the other pins are moving out of the way, they're not binding, this pin right here, it's stuck, it's bound, and my pick is having to ride over the top of it rather than the pin moving out of the way, like it usually does. So, um, I'm going to try and center my pick on the top of that pin. Now, the pins are shaped like this, uh, picture them as mountains. And when, when you pull your pick out of the lock, the pick will first of all climb up this side of the mountain, and then if you keep pulling it out, it'll come down the other side here. 
So you want to center your pick right on the top of the mountain. And these pins can be quite sharp, so it can be uh, difficult to do that. But um, I'm just going to pull my pick over the top of it just so I can make sure. I've got my pick right on the top there, and I'm going to press firmly down until I hear a click. And I heard a little click there. I'm not sure if you picked that up. So again, I'm going to go right to the back of the lock, pull the pick out until it moves upwards like this. There we go, on pin 1. And it's going to be diff uh, different depending on what lock you have. Uh, so, right there, pin 1. I'm going to go to the top of the mountain. On the very centre of the pin, I'm going to press down until I hear a click like that. I'm going to go to the back of the lock again, and my pick's rising up just there, so that feels like pin 5, it doesn't matter. Either way, I feel like I'm centred right here. I press down firmly, click, the lock is open, just like that. Alright, so this may not be the most difficult lock in the world, but uh, I hope that demonstrates the technique I use uh, when feeling for the binding pin. Just remember, the pins are pointed like this, and try to imagine uh, the pick riding on the pin, and imagine where your pick is on that pin, which side it's on, or uh, if it's centred right on the very top, like that. Well, I hope this uh, is helpful to somebody. Um, it may not work on every lock, like I said. It's uh, Also, um, locks with security pins are a lot more difficult to pick. Um, but this should uh, help you get your pick centred and to feel which pins are binding in the lock. Um, so, I hope this helps. Um, one, two. Um, if you... Uh, need a suitable lock then I will um, have a look in my collection and uh, see if I can find one to send to you supposing you are in the UK or Europe um, but there you go I uh, hope this helps and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video